there's a picture that was just released breaking news breaking news from uh, different astronomers that shows this i will show you the source right away i don't know what is it this here i have no idea but this is three i atlas with this weird stuff around man this is freaking weird look at the shape is very close to the shape that i always thought it uh, it has we don't know the shape of it we don't know the size of it yet nobody knows different hypotheses but my thumbnails always have that um, oval kind of oval elliptical shape because i from different images and now this one also confirmed that made me believe it's a belief that it has an oval shape but it can have a different shape and it's kind of a shield or something we don't know man we don't know we don't know that's the most honest question uh, answer that somebody can give you it's we don't know if somebody says it's this mm, liar regardless the source yet so far Maybe they can, I believe it has this shape, I believe it has this size, because this study says this, but the other says that. That's different, that's not lying, that's building an opinion. But the ones that, that knows it all, that you already know how it works. It has this thing here, very weird, and this, I don't know what it, it is. Something here, man, it's very weird, and this is very legit. The source, I have it here. And I don't know what is it as well. I'm just showing you facts, images, sources, try to break it down. Just for you, in the Astronomer's Telegram. You have astronomerstelegram.org. The number 17445. Jet detection on interstellar comet 3i Atlas with the two meter twin telescope two meter man two meter is it, it's too much 200 centimeters it's a big one so the astronomer's telegram jet detection on interstellar comet 3i atlas with the two meter twin telescope they made a study what did they study they studied the tail as there's no tail <laughs> as there's no tail they are desperate man Remember, this is all mainstream people. Although it's astronomers' telegram, it's astron professional astronomers tend to, as they are professional, they are, they aren't like me. I do whatever I want with my telescopes. I don't have to obey to anybody. They might or not, but the ones that aren't obeying to anybody, they wish they would have some credit. All of them, and from a big institution, you know scientists always want uh, to chase the Nobel Prize things like that you know the first one to discover this so all of them in more in a higher or a less degree they tend to please the ones that can pull and move the needle so obviously you will see a language shaped to the mainstream they call it a comet they actually they write the um, designation not 3i atlas designation but the first one that nasa used that is comet here 2025 n1 atlas you see they use all these and of course they will never use aliens as an hypothesis or no 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 they can speculate but we can't only you are only allowed to speculate with things natural things that may or might occur in universe like for instance too much nickel to the iron that it has that's not natural that's an alloy there's no one that knows a ratio like that in a natural thing in the universe nobody so the what they build around that is that maybe in a different star system 
maybe in the star system that was uh, the creation of th three eye atlas things work different what are they doing speculating they don't have any evidence of that how can you say that things are different there if you don't know if you didn't see if you didn't gather evidence so speculating what are we doing here telling that might be alien speculating what's the difference they studied and as usual they didn't get any tail i bet they don't say here i bet the the goal of each observation from these guys astronomers professional astronomers that like to please the mainstream is always to how can you please the mainstream right now give them a tail what's the best thing that mainstream science could receive from a professional astronomer right now a freaking tail that they can't show us a tail to say it's a comet because if it has a long tail like it has the comet swan for instance they could say oh you see you see it's not alien it has a tail it's a comet like others but it has no tail and it has 15 anomalies 15 anomalies and they are desperate they are really desperate that's probably one of the causes of the silence they have right now and they discovered what what is there an anti-tail so they just once again confirmed an anti-tail and the anti-tail if you click here it goes to the image an anti-tail they don't explain what is this i wish i could understand what is this here because i can see one dot here i assume it's a star but here i see many dots i would like to know but you know unfortunately they don't uh, explain that we'll see in the future if they say anything yeah probably it was stacking i don't know and stacking you show the same star in different positions here well what they say here we report a faint jet detected in deep g-band images of 3i atlas so they detected a jet an anti-tail and as you can see the only thing they can find is an anti-tail it's it's kind of weird because it's something like a jet they call it a jet because it's a jet it's not a tail really i said to you it's a poof remember oftentimes i say to you and i'm not a scientist it's common sense it's not a tail even the anti-tail is not a tail this is a weird picture indeed you have the study there study 